In this video, we're going to introduce you to the country blocking feature of WordFence Security. It's important to note uh, a couple of things. First off, that it is only available to premium members at the moment. So if you do want to actually use this, you will need to sign up for an account with them. And secondly, when you have the Falcon engine enabled, as it notes here, country blocking will only work on the login page and other dynamic pages where the Falcon engine is enabled. That's done just to keep your site fast, uh, but it shouldn't have any major impact on the actual site performance anyway. However, what we'll do now is we'll go through the options that are available in the instance that you do want to use country blocking. And the first thing that we need to decide on is what to do when we block someone. As you can see here, the first option is to show the standard WordFence blocked message. You can also choose to redirect them to a different URL completely. It can be anything you'd like, uh, it can be on your site or on another site. It's really up to you what you choose to use. You can even redirect them out to Google or something like that if you really wanted to send a message uh, that you don't want them to be there. Then you can also choose if you want to block people from certain countries even if they're logged in. This can be handy if you've got, say, contributors on your website from a country that's sending a lot of bad traffic your way, but you'd still like them to be a part of your website. But you also need to be wary of using this and the next feature below, which is block access to the login form as well. So if you choose both of those, then it's going to be very, very difficult for that particular individual to log in. However, what you can do is you can set up some certain rules that will help bypass this. So Let's say, for instance, what you've got here is advanced country blocking option. So maybe if the user hits a URL, you might call it uh, country block, then redirect that user to wplogin.php so that they can log in and it'll bypass their country block and they'll also be able to go in and use that website. Then you can also go on and as it says here, if your user is allowed to access the website so their country is not blocked and they visit a particular URL, maybe you'd like to use that same URL then it'll set a cookie on the computer that in the case maybe they travel and they happen to be in a blocked country, they'll still be able to get access to your website. Then we get down to selecting which countries to block. You can see that, well, all the countries there that you'd ever want to block are available for you. It's just really up to you to go through and choose uh, which countries you want to block and really to make an informed decision, you need to check logs on your website to see where you know any malicious traffic is coming from, you know, spam or people are trying to take down your website by overloading your server and so on. It's a pretty handy feature if you know you can find instances where that's happening to your website. Otherwise it may not be too super useful for you, uh, but in any case really easy to use, uh, worthwhile if you think you might have a need for it. Uh, but otherwise that's where we're going to wrap up. If you have any questions about what we've done today, please feel free to ask in the comments below.